Hey, what's going on guys? Will here, and today I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to customize the same gloves that I did on 44progloves.com. So first off, I'm going to be showing you how to customize my 1175 crossweb, uh, like modified crossweb, whatever you want to call it. Um, so first you're just going to go fielding, tr traditional wrist type, throwing hands going to be right. Um, no finger hood, you can add that if you want. Lace length, I put, I didn't put long, but I still would put long. I just never really thought of it when I was customizing 11.75, there you go. And then the trick here, it's going to be in no dual welting. Uh, I don't think you can get dual welting with mesh. But um, trick here, it's pretty much the same glove as my pitching glove, but with a different web. You'll see here as it's just all bone leather. Um, yeah, it's just all bone leather until you get to the mesh, and it just mesh just covers the whole glove. So, just bone, bone, or blonde now, my bad. Yeah, it's blonde now, but keep going blonde, and then you put in black mesh, and there you go. It shows, like, my glove. And then you'll put, you can put whatever embroidery you want. I put red embroidery just because it matches with the um with the stitching uh and then you'll score scroll down to special instructions and if you can't read that it's going to say replace mesh with black snake skin um and then the next one it's going to be the name of the web if you want that web which is i believe it's called the snakeskin post web uh snakeskin lace post web Either or, you could just say same web as Will Baseball 28. It's up to you guys, but uh, yeah, I'll type that in, and then I'll and then a comparison is going to show up of what the glove looks like in real life compared to the website, and it does look pretty similar. The only thing that's different is the web, and it's not actually mesh; it is snakeskin. So here it should be. There it is. Uh, she looks quite similar. Yeah, you can tell. And now we're going to get into my pitching glove, uh, the 1175 two piece web. Um, so you're going traditional back and go one piece, it doesn't matter. If, but if you want the. I went traditional on the cross web, but I still. I could probably go one piece on any one of these. So you're going to get the finger hood. In my opinion, I regret getting the finger hood. Um, because what's the point of having a finger hood without using it? So I'm using it just because I have it. But if I didn't have it, I wouldn't put my finger out. Um, just because traditional just didn't feel great. So now you get the two-piece web. And then it's just going to be all bone leather. But with red welting, red lace, and red stitching. So here it goes. And then after we get that done, I'm going to show you a comparison of that in the real thing. My opinion, the form on my, you'll see the form. That's the fav my favorite form on any one of my gloves. It's just really flared, and I like that. So there, we'll finish it off. Just put the wing tip, and I put red stitching again. You don't have to, but here we are. See how the the finger hood, how it's popped on the website, but it's flat, like it was just resting there, and then it just flattened out. That's personally I wouldn't recommend the finger hood. But uh now we're on to my outfield glove. It'll be twelve point seven five. You can do twelve point five, whatever size you want to do, but that's just that's how I did it. That's the size that I liked. Um so we'll go H web and then we'll get into the leather colors. Uh you can tell every one of my gloves has red stitching, red embroidery um, and red lacing. Um, I don't know, it just looks really good, especially on this glove. The black, the red and the black web looks really good, in my opinion. Um, I might get another outfield glove, depending on once I send mine back in, just to get the leather replaced in the palm. Um, and here is the comparison. See, it's not as big on the website, but 
Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. If you want any other videos, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.